Good morning, everyone. Today is Friday, it's the end of the week. Gotta finish strong. So, it's a busy day. I am not gonna lie, it is a really busy day. Right now, it is currently 9.17 in the morning. Got some work done before I even started filming. So right now, um, I have a missed call, so I gotta call someone back in regards to, I think, an apartment. So gotta check that out, gotta pay employees, got to, got a stack, a stack of follow-ups I gotta go through. If you guys didn't check out my other video, we actually are going back to our CRM, like our main CRM, Ari Simply. Really love that system. The other CRM we were working with, it just wasn't our vibe, so we um, are going to switch all the way back to RE Simply. If you guys want to check it out, I have a little discount for you. I'll leave the link down in the description. So I got to go through all those follow-ups and stuff, uh, hopefully get some deals. After that, I have a meeting um, with a friend of ours that um, he's also like a lender too. He's crushing it. We've done a podcast with him. So have a meeting with him, lunch meeting. We're gonna go over this new construction deal, um, dive more deeper into the numbers and stuff like that, so that should be good. After that, got a stack of uh, shorts I gotta upload and edit and post and stuff for all the different platforms. Stack of uh, probates I gotta do. Um, what else, emails, so many emails, cause yesterday I went to an event out in DC like a real estate event so my whole day was you know basically over there so i couldn't really do much work over here um let me see let me check here yeah it's it's a busy day and then um for our rental business we're going to be switching to a platform where like our tenants can just pay rent through that to make it super easy so we're gonna i'm gonna get that platform all ready and all set uh squared away hopefully today if i have time but got a lot to do can't talk much make sure you guys are working get a workout in in the morning read your bible start your day off right with that being said let's get to work hey nothing much sorry i missed your call yeah where's that at are you like renovating it like helping the owner or something cool cool i appreciate it thanks for the call all right i'll talk to you later hey okay no it's not working thank you yeah it's not working for some reason okay so what i'm saying is that the thing is there, but the rest of the stuff, you're going to take these bags, right? But you're going to pay $99 for little things that we need in there. Uh, anyway, I'm taking these bags, so you're going to pay 99 for this. Is this one okay. $99. And this one? Just for the shower handle. Just for the shower handle. Hey, Stephanie Kabidi, how you doing? That's good. I'm doing pretty good myself. I figured I'd give you a call because... I was just looking up the property just randomly and I was like, wait a second, I don't I don't know if it's sold yet. So I wanted to reach out to see if everything went all through with the buyer. Are you, you guys still thinking of selling or was it more so like the financing part or was something else that just arised in the process that kind of stopped them from moving forward? I mean, are you still, I know we had this conversation a while ago, but are you still open to seller financing? In this way, because do you still have the listing agreement with the agent? Do you, you think there is any room for value add? We're young real estate investors, both 23 sure. years old. Um, right oh. now we're at 13 doors. See, now that is why you always wanna follow up. Even though this deal, what, three months ago, the seller said, we're on the market. I'm like, okay, I checked, it's on the market. Then he was like, we're under contract with the buyer. All right, it's under contract, but never, think that that's the end of a deal because there's always going to be buyers that end up falling through just like this buyer did and now an opportunity arose at a lower price than what he was expecting before so there's always going to be opportunities arising that's why follow-up is key hola como estas guess what what you know that 16 unit I was telling you about? Yeah, here. Hold on. Um, Home Depot's calling me. Oh, he's gonna make you pay. It's probably our fail. I use the debit card or credit cards? You can use the debit card. Debit card? Don't got nothing on the credit card. I didn't think so. But it came out to like almost $600. Oh, dang. For everything? Did, did he get the countertops too? 
That's why I asked him. I was like, you did everything for the unit? He was like, well, I didn't see the basement. He was like, kind of there's stuff down there, but I didn't even see it, so I don't know. Other thing. So, yeah. Good news. I called the guy up. 16 unit apartment. I was like, yeah, you know, I, out of nowhere, I was like, let me just check to see if it was still on the market. Notice you guys took it off, blah, blah, blah. He's like, yeah, buyer fell through. I was like, oh, no way. Um, I was like, are you still looking to sell it? He's like, yeah, we are. And I was like, out of curiosity, like, was it just their financing that fell through or something else? He's like, I honestly don't 100% know. So it's like, no, that's all good. I was like, I know we talked a while back about seller financing would you be opposed to it like did you change your mind in regards to it so he's like no he doesn't want to do it but i was like and then he was basically saying yeah um because i asked him about the agent and he's like yeah our listing agreement expired i was like okay well i mean if we were to buy it like through your off market you wouldn't have to worry about those commissions because he was thinking about putting it back on the market and he's like oh i i like that that's smart and then um he was asking questions about like our business and stuff. He was like, I love what you guys are doing, young, doing, you know, in the business. And I was like, all right, so what price are you basically at now since, you know, going through all this? So I don't remember what he was at before. Do you remember? 16, I think he wanted 1.2. No, it was higher than that. Let me see if I wrote it down. What's he asking now? He's asking 1.5. I swear it was, I swear he was near like 1.6 or 1.8. But he didn't seem like firm on 1.5. Okay. So like, I feel like we can make some room, but he did say since that he did for like the three bedrooms, he did do some increase in rents to 1300 and then the two beds increased to 1100, which I was like, do you think there's still room for a value add? Because I told him our strategy. And he's like, yeah, most definitely. If someone wants to come in there, put a hundred grand worth of work into it. But So I just had a meeting with, a lunch meeting with another uh, investor. We're working on the new construction side of things. So came up with two solid offers to present with the seller with everything. So I did call the seller when I came, pulled up back you know, in the parking lot of the office but he didn't answer so i left a voicemail um but i'm excited like you know my mindset is if it happens and he accepts one of them that's amazing if he doesn't accept either of them and he wants to go list or put a sign out it just wasn't meant to be because at the end of the day i want what god wants for me so i'm hype either way you know if it happens it happens if it doesn't it doesn't so just trusting in God and now it's like two, it's around two o'clock, well, it's 2.15. So what I have to do is these shorts cause I finished all my follow up calls this morning. So got to start on these, on this editing. And then turns out I have to head back to our one property with Skylar. Got to meet him there with our contractor. So I got to do that at three, which it's a little hike to get over there. So. I'll have to leave in like, I don't even know, 30 minutes or so. So that's my day. But let me hop into my computer here and um, start on on these uh, editing the shorts and stuff for the pod. All right, so here's one that we'll probably be posting. Let me play it for y'all so you can see it. No. If someone was looking to get into development, like what would step one be all the way, you know, A to yeah. B, like, hold on. So I think uh, if, if I was truly serious about being in development, I would first try to get a job with a development company. But if you guys want to watch that full podcast, I'll make sure to leave um, the podcast Investors Unite down below. So check that out.